what are the benefits of being financially free? I thought financially free means that you don't need to like actively work to make money. That's what, that's what I thought there was mm-hmm. like an official definition, which in, in, <laughs> from that definition, I'm not financially free. I still work to make money. But mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah, like I said, because of the type of business that I recommend and that I do, uh, I don't have to work too many hours to make, you know, a living, Yanni. So that's good, but it's not that definition of financially free. I actually, I don't think I ever set out to be financially free. I, I, I kind of had the assumption I'm always going to work a bit for the for money, Yanni. especially because I'm young. I'm like, of I don't mind working. Like, it's all right. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really want to be working like full, full time and intensively. I don't want to spend that huge chunk of my precious time on just making money, you know, when there's other important things to do as well. But... I don't mind working and it's good to work. Um, and you're saying, what are the benefits? I mean, look, bro, I don't need to sell anyone of the benefits. Everyone knows. <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> I mean, everyone with a job who doesn't like it, which apparently is like 80% of people, I don't know. Yeah. All those people, it's a lot more than that, actually. <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. Especially all, all, all those people, just tell them, you don't have to do that. That's the benefit. And they'll be like, okay, I'm sold. But I think what you're, you're looking for, Adam, maybe is like, what can you do or maybe the importance of seeking this kind of setup, Yanni, which is like, yep. to be honest, bro, I don't even know because like I told you, I haven't had an office job much, Yanni, in my life. I don't, I don't know how bad it is <laughs> fully, <laughs> which by the way, sounds good, but it's not good because it means there was a good chunk of my life where I just like wasn't working properly, Yanni. I was, I was like a slow starter, but yeah, bro, it's amazing if, if you can, Even if you can just have a remote job where you can like leave the country, right? Like remote meaning you can move internationally. Bro, you can do Mm -hmm. stuff like Umrah. You can uh, go visit family. Mm -hmm. You can obviously travel as well and just like see the world. You can experience different places and get to know other countries, other setups, other options, Yanni, for life. I think a lot of people, like I know I have a few Australian friends. Bro, it's like they're on a, they might as well be on Mars, bro, because they don't, like they don't, they, it's hard for them to leave that that part of the world. It's so far from everything, and so they don't yeah. even know mm-hmm. what what options are out there, right? And so just visiting other parts of the world is good. And even this is the big thing. And I made a video about this, which is like the big big opportunity in in like these recent years is to work remotely or have a business that allows you to operate remotely, and then live in a a cheap country, right? Especially a lot of Muslim yep. countries are cheaper to live in right? These two things, when you combine them, it's just amazing because you you can live very comfortably and you're in a Muslim country, you know? And if you like have a good level of English or probably a citizenship in one of these countries like you guys in the US, etc., you can get that like remote job or start that business and you don't have such headache with paperwork or whatever. And then like just pick any country and, it, and you'll be solid with like just like a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars a month. You'd be solid in whatever, uh, Egypt, um, Malaysia, um, Algeria, Morocco, T- Turkey, etc. So, alhamdulillah, the, the, the Muslim world is, is wide, Yanni. No, oh, definitely. Man. So, I guess to that point, brother, I mean, it sounds like it's a bit of not necessarily like having, like you said, we don't want to just strive to be rich in the sense of get rich by any means necessary, it doesn't matter, da, 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 but have that freedom i guess of time i think time is what a lot of people are striving for would you would you say like that's more accurate than quote unquote financially free yeah more important than even location freedom is time freedom meaning like just having some more free time like even Mm -hmm. if you had like i heard today like quite a few countries are trying out like this four day work week and stuff um yeah Mm -hmm. And not in America, though. They want us to work for forever. <laughs> America's next level. I think the, 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 the country with the shortest work week was like the, the Netherlands. It's like 29 yeah. hours or something. And you guys yeah, like, that's right. you guys get like a woman just gave birth and she has like 29 hours to get back to work or something in America. They don't even. <laughs> it's crazy. They don't even give the time off or whatever. So yeah, yeah. America's capitalism. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're and this right, is the bro, thing. You're right. This is the thing, like, we're not we're not on the communist wave in terms of, like, business is bad and making money is bad and markets and all that is bad. But it's like, we need to give the right value to money and we give the right value to free time and give the right value to spending time with family and spending time in Ibadah and all of this. We need to have the right proportions. 
And obviously America is extreme in that the proportion of money is like, that's everything, yani, you know what I mean? And, and, and us as Muslims, yani, we need to have a worldview, which is not, it's not the American, it's not the Soviet Union communist thing. It's, it's our own way of, you know, living. And like the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in the hadith, like in the hadith about giving everything its rights, you know, giving yourself its rights, your body, your family, this and that. So mm -hmm. actually, I, I forget the exact wording of that hadith, but it kind of guides you on how to proportion your day, you know, how to spend your time and energy. So we have a lot of guidelines. And if we dig into it further, then we can like give us a perspective on, okay, what is our worldview? on how we should be spending our time. But no doubt, Adam, like it's very, time is very valuable. And you know, Allah swears by time. And actually that's the mm -hmm. surah, surah al-Asr, where Imam al-Shafi'i said, you know, if this, only this surah was revealed, it would have been enough for guidance because yep. it summarizes everything. Right?